What is up everyone? Mark Chess here and today I will be comparing the signature shoes of the top two guards of the NBA, namely Stephen Curry and Kyrie Irving. So this is the Curry 6 and this is the Kyrie 5s. Which guard shoe is best for you? Before anything else, I hope you guys subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Like my videos, watch it please. That will go a long way. Thank you. By the way, if you want to know more about the shoes, a more detailed look of the two shoes, I would put the link of the full performance review up here and watch it if you haven't. So let's start off with the uppers. For the Curry 6, they used knit all throughout. Some areas are fused, specifically here in the toe box area. And here in the middle part of the shoe, it's mostly padded on the heel and sticker because there's a heel counter here and fuse overlay on the toe box. So when you stop, you won't rip the knit on the toe area. What I like about the upper of the Curry 6, because it's knit, it's lightweight, very comfortable in your feet. Airflow on your feet is very nice. It's not warm on your feet, you can stretch this up and it's easy to put your foot in. Support enough when you lace it up because it has a fused leather. It goes up here. It will hug your foot when you lock up your laces tightly. The strings pulls up. It moves your feet backwards a bit more. So heel lock down. It's good too on the Curry 6. There's enough Achilles pillows which also helps in the heel cushioning. There's enough ankle protection in this because the heel counter is pretty wide. It goes from the back up to near the midfoot. And also the cushioning system or the carrier goes up. So lateral support on the heel is very good on the Currys. Especially Curry really likes to plant his feet quickly. So he needs that to lock down his foot and set up for a shot. So if you're a quick guard who wants to shoot and set up your foot for a jumper, Curry's for you. As for the forefoot area, the carrier goes up. So it also cradles your foot. I think most of the sneakers that are out now implements that. So it helps on the lockdown and support on your lateral movements and forward movements. Pretty much support on the upper is very good. And comparing it with the Kyrie 5s, the Kyrie 5s has engineered mesh. Very supportive upper, doesn't stretch at all. The lacing system locks you down really tightly when you pull it up. Pulls your foot down in the footbed. So lockdown support here is very good. There's a fuse area here in the toe box so it won't trip too. And going back to the heel part of the shoe, it's padded added engineered mesh it's very comfy even though it's not that thick it's very comfortable heel lockdown is awesome once you tighten the laces you don't experience any heel slippage that's the main difference between the two shoes because it's a uh, mid cut on the Kyrie's I feel more lockdown on the heel here compared to the Kyrie's although I didn't experience heel slippage but the feeling that you get when you feel your heel is really sticking to the heel part of the shoe that's how you feel on the Kyrie's I like the feeling that you're sneakers is hugging your heel part really tightly slight advantage on that on the Kyrie's if you want a more supportive upper Kyrie's compared to the Curry's is better because this is knit but comfort level on the Curry's is far more better because this is a bit hot on your foot and I think that's a sacrifice that you'll get for excellent support on the upper don't get me wrong it's still a very comfortable shoe another thing that I like to touch up on the two shoes is I like the tongue of the Kyrie's far better than the Curry's because the knit here in the upper part of the sneaker of the Curry 6 is not that foamy not that well padded sometimes when you lace up the Curry's and you're wearing not that thick of a sock you can feel the laces digging through your foot that's the little discomfort that I found in the curries but overall comfort level in the curries is excellent ventilation is excellent on this one compared to the Kyrie. Now moving on to the midsole cushion. The Kyrie has a four foot air zoom turbo unit and on the heel part is an injected phylon. While the Kyrie's has hover system in case in a carrier. I don't know what material is the carrier but hover is inside. As for cushioning, I like the Kyrie 5's cushioning better because you can feel the bounce in the forefoot. I like a little bounciness in the forefoot. The hover system, there's a little bounce but nothing as good as the feeling that you can find in the Kyrie. So bounciness on the 
forefoot in the Kairis is better than the Kairis. This is a personal preference. I like bounciness in my forefoot, especially when jumping. I like the feeling that I get on the zoom bag, especially on my second jump. Advantage on the Kairis on that. As for the heel part cushioning, I think both have the same heel cushioning, just enough impact protection. But I will give a slight advantage on the Phylon on the Kairis. I felt the impact protection more on the Kairis compared to the Kairis. So court feel and responsiveness on both shoes are awesome but I think that's where the curries have a slight advantage. Just a little bit of advantage on the court feel. Especially it has a stiffer cushioning. It's a lot more responsive compared to the Kairis. Very perfect for guards with quick first steps. Now let's move on to the traction on both shoes. For the Kyrie 5, you need to break it in for a couple of games to feel the maximum traction on these. While the Kyrie's right off the box, very squeaky, very grippy, no break-in time needed. And for dusty courts, I like the Kyrie's better because even though it's dusty, like yesterday I was playing in a very dusty court, the curry still performs very well as for the traction. I was gripping really hard and no slippage. As for the Kairis, this is very good on a clean court. But on a dusty court, this needs a little wiping every now and then but nothing too drastic. Dust tends to get stuck here in the middle of the grooves because the Kairi 5 has a narrower pattern. So traction wise, slight advantage on the curries. So as for the sizing, go through to your size on both shoes. So for wide footers, I think you're safer with the curries because it's knit, it stretches more. Compared to this Kairis which has a snug fit and the lacing system is a bit snug and you can't extend it that much. It's harder to put your foot in if you're a wide footer. So for wide footers, go with the curries. As for the pricing, the Kairis is 6295 or 6 3,300 while the curries is around 7,000 I think here in the Philippines this is cheaper compared to the curries which one would I choose for my final verdict although the traction here on the curries is far more better I give the curries a win mainly because of the cushioning on the curries I'm a player who likes cushioning I like a little bit of bounciness especially on the forefoot and enough impact protection in the heel I felt that more here in the curries and it's cheaper compared to the curries. As for the curries, what I didn't like about it is the lack of cushioning. That has been the signature of the curry lines. It lacks cushioning. Although the curry 6 has one of the most improved cushioning because the 3, 4, and 5 was dead cushioning. If you're choosing on both shoes, I would recommend the Kairis better. If you're a quicker guard, because I'm a kind of a big guard, so if you're a smaller guard who likes to be quick on your feet and you're a shooter, the Kairis is best for you. That's my personal preference, so let me know what you guys think. Hit me some comments down below. Thank you again for watching my comparison video between the Kyrie 5s and the Curry 6. This has been Marches and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.